my name is Morgan and welcome to our channel. <laughs> Welcome. Today we are going to give you a mid-month pantry tour. So this month we shopped once a month and I am excited to see if we can make the food stretch. I know we can. Just excited to see how it goes. Today is January 17th. So I'm going to give you a tour of our pantries, freezers, and refrigerators so that you can see how much food we've already eaten and how much we have left. We had a good bit when we already started this month as well and hopefully we'll have a good bit when it's over. I am a mom of eight. I have eight children, seven still live at home. We homeschool, so we eat most, almost all of our food from home. Um, I know I say that a lot, but I think it's important to mention because the amount of food that we go through sometimes I believe is insane. We have some big eaters in this house. I think that, I think that it's interesting and exciting to see how we <laughs> make things work. So I thought I'd show it to you. So here is our refrigerator. We have some peppers, elderberry syrup. We only have one thing of heavy whipping cream left, which we're saving for the broccoli cheese soup. We have a thing and a half of like Greek yogurt, one avocado, four things of yogurt, a little bit of egg, some half and half, some sourdough discard bread, carrots, three tomatoes, some squash, some radishes, cheese we have left, there's a cucumber, all that left. Some low carb tortillas, we have no more. Regular tortillas, one pack of hot dogs, some cream cheese, feta, parmesan cheese. Here is a condiment situation. This is the freezer. A few ice cream bars, chicken, okra, a little bit of spinach, lime, a little bit of ice cream, lettuce, celery. We have one pack of lunch meat left. This is ground beef and ground turkey mixed together. Cranberries, that's papaya, oatmeal. Have a little bit of stuff in these cabinets here so I just thought I'd give you a sneak peek. This is spices and olive oil. We only have about half a thing of olive oil left. Here we have some coffee. That's about half full, half full, and cocoa powder. These are a lot of my Trim Healthy Mama special ingredients. I have collagen, protein powder, peanut flour, my chocolate chip, boabab, things like that are back there. What else do we have back there? Baking blend, oat fiber, some plant protein, some sweetener. Yeah, that's what we have in this cabinet. I'm really not sure how to organize this cabinet. Does anybody have a corner cabinet like this? And if you do, it's so deep and awesome and you can fit a lot in there, but like how? How do you organize that? Any suggestions are welcome. So this is our cabinet. Up here we have some beans. Some rice, a lot of rice. I went a little crazy on the rice at the Dollar Tree because I was excited. We have four and a half things of oatmeal. Those are split peas back there. Applesauce, grits, some Rice Krispie treats, a little bit leftover from Christmas. In here I have some homemade bread. This is some pear relish that we got from a friend. Three things of coffee because we ran out. Can you believe it? Unsweetened coconut, peanut butter, peanuts, raisins, a little thing of vanilla wafers back there. Two bags of tortilla chips, one thing of sweet potato chips. All of our nuts are in here. We have pecans, sunflower seeds, walnuts, some random little snackies for the kids. We have three jars of salsa. We have one, two lonely little things of diced tomatoes, lots of green beans, some corn, coconut sugar, regular sugar, brown sugar. In the back, the two bags on top plus the red lid is sprouted whole wheat flour. This is dark traditional red wheat. And then in the back back there is white wheat. And this is just regular old all purpose. And then this is kind of our flour stockpile. Looks like back here we have applesauce. All of that is applesauce and this is some um, split peas and lentils. We don't really care for split peas, but my mom gives them to me and I just throw them in with everything that I make so we can use them up. I actually don't have any food in these cabinets. This is all like homeschool stuff and then storage and some of these are even empty. A lot of these are empty actually. Let's see what we have in here. This is mint tea my dad grew in his garden. He gave it to me. There's some oolong, some extra coconut. I still haven't made granola yet. That is why you see so much oatmeal that we still have. Pizza sauce, mayonnaise. We have some Jif corn mix. I only have one of those. I think my mom gave me that so I need to get some more so I can make it. Or maybe I'll let the kids make a snack one day. We have lots of tomato paste, some green 
chilies, the salmon and coconut milk for a soup this month, pear relish, some apple butter, apple syrup sweetened with stevia, so it really was supposed to be jelly, but it never gelled. Pasta syrup, blueberry syrup, maple syrup, and regular syrup. Caesar salad, dressing, ranch dressing, jelly, Italian, artichoke carts, mustard. We have a couple things in mushrooms. What is this? Sweet corn. Didn't even see that back there. It was hiding. Barbecue sauce, lime juice, ketchup, TV light, sauerkraut, bacon bit, taco shell, tuna, potatoes, applesauce, olives. That's some pork that I canned. A little bit of buttermilk pancakes left. We have five spaghetti squashes left, three butternut. We have a little bit of onions and like four sweet potatoes there. You guys, I'm gonna put my brooms like up on the wall. I'm gonna get some little hangers that hang it up here. Whoa! So hopefully that will eliminate this like brooms everywhere when we open the door. But that is everything we have in the house. Let's go to the outside freezers. All right, so in the garage, I have these two freezers. This one turns into a refrigerator and a freezer. I've used it as a refrigerator before, but right now I have it as a freezer. I have a ton of frozen cucumbers. The reason that I have so many is because in the summer I was drinking a ton of hydrating hummingbirds. That is a drink where you blend up cucumbers and water and it's so good. But I'm cold right now and I'm drinking only cannonball tea. Those are just gonna have to wait for the summer. I have all these frozen veggies. I have some whipped topping left over from who knows what that I made at Christmas time. So that's all frozen veggies. Inside of here, I have some guacamole leftovers. All that's guacamole. A 10 pound bag of chicken leg quarters. In here I have a lot of water bottles for the cooler. Some aloe vera, flax seed, coconut flour. Down there, pumpkin that slid down. I can't get it out. Some Pedialyte pops in there too. <laughs> Look, these are my granddaughter's biscuits. Gracie's biscuits. I made them for her like over a month ago and I haven't given them to her yet. My poor grandbaby loves biscuits and I am gonna give those to her. They say Gracie's and not all of my grandbabies because we thought they had a milk allergy, but they don't. So now they can be any of their biscuits. I need to make more because that's not near enough for them all now. These are Trimtastic cakes. These are bananas that were way overripe and ready for some banana bread, chicken broth, cottage cheese, keto bread, which I'm not a huge fan of, really dry, but it's okay. Butter, 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 ice packs. Honey buns, one blueberry muffin. I did find a pack of tortillas, super excited about that. Turkey, meatballs, bacon, some deer bologna that my son-in-law gave me, so good. Tilapia, cinnamon rolls, more cinnamon rolls, and more cinnamon rolls. That's all cinnamon rolls, sourdough cinnamon rolls that I made for me to eat, and they are amazing, and I'm slowly tripping away at them. Bell peppers are on the menu to make stuffed bell peppers this month. I have one bag of frozen fruit left, one thing of sausage. All this is chicken, one little thing of ground turkey. These are chicken breasts and chicken thighs. These are bone-in chicken thighs. I think these are chicken thighs too. A Huntington chicken casserole. I think these are bone-in chicken thighs. So that's it. That is everything. I have taken out for meals for the next few days. I have some okra that I'm roasting up with cauliflower, a whole chicken, and chicken leg quarters for some soups that we're making. And then some black beans that we're actually having tonight. These are cooked. I have my menu plan on the freezer. So we're all the way here. So we're having power bowls. I have taco meat in this freezer. Remember I showed you? So that's for tomorrow. Chicken and rice soup is Wednesday, so I will make up that chicken tomorrow, and that way I'll have time to make the broth for the soup for the next week. And I'm gonna make enough broth to go ahead and have it for the Navy Seal soup too. Stuffed peppers. I'll probably actually ground up that little bit of sausage left in there and mix that with something to make the stuffed peppers. Chicken pot pie. I'll make sourdough biscuits to go on the top of those. will be so yummy. Meat and veggies, beans and rice soup. Mondays are usually meatless, tacos, chicken pesto alfredo. If we have any of our heavy whipping cream and cream cheese left, we'll have that. Sesame chicken stir fry, taco soup, meat and veggies, chicken noodle soup, power bowls, and we have plenty of everything else. So that was all the food we have in the entire house to feed 10 people for the next two and a half weeks, maybe two weeks in one day, however many days are left this month. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I Leave all your questions down below and I will answer them as many as I can. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. What is that down there? Mm. Oh, what is this? I forgot I made that.